children and how are you doing my name is teacher faith and welcome to our channel where we learn and grow i am so happy that you've joined me again today for prayer time today is day 10 of the 10 days of prayer the lord has walked with us on this journey of faith where we took different footsteps of faith for nine days yeah and it has been a blessing to me has it been a blessing to you what was your memorable footstep mm-hmm and what was your favorite activity uh-huh and which footstep do you need help in practicing oh great thank you so much for sharing with me how your experience has been remember that God wants us to have a strong friendship with him and your friendship will keep growing stronger every day as you practice these footsteps of faith. Today, our prayer focus is living together in love. What is our prayer focus for today? Oh, great. Before we continue, let's pray together. Dear God in heaven, thank you so much for working with us for the last nine days and for giving us an opportunity to pray together again today as we're going to learn about um, how we can live together with love. I pray that Lord, you'll plant in your seed of love in our hearts that we can be able to love each other practically. And may you put in our hearts someone you want us to show love, even after we've learned this, and provide resources for us to show them love practically. It's my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. To help us understand our prayer focus for today is Tony and Lydia. Tony and Lydia loved going to their new church. They had a wonderful Sabbath school experience with a very kind teacher. They could tell that she loved Jesus very much. His love bubbled out of her when she talked about him. Every week, children were involved in the worship service. Last week, Lydia showed a beautiful shell that she had found and explained how it filled her with wonder. Children also helped to make the scripture reading special. And one day, Tony drew pictures of the different verses to show the congregation. And in another week, he sang a scripture song with the rest of his class. Pastor James included children in his sermons. They would hunt for his illustrations or he would show them an experiment. Everyone made sound effects to help him tell the story of the lost ship. After the service, each of the children visited with an elderly person. Tony talked to Mr. Berg about birds and Mr. Berg would save stamps for Tony's collection. Lydia visited Mrs. Gerito. She made a bookmark with a Bible verse on it, and Mrs. Gerito would lend her lovely books to read about missionaries or make cookies for Tony and Lydia's family. Then they prayed for each other. Going to church, participating in worship, and showing kindness to others makes our friendship with Jesus stronger every day. But sometimes it is normal for us not to want to go to church and, and be with others. You may feel like you just want to be at home and do other things. But this is what the Bible says. Let us read together. Let us think about each other and help each other to show love and do good deeds. You should not stay away from church meetings as some are doing, but you should meet together and encourage each other. Hebrews 10 verse 24 and 25. Let's read it one more time. Let us think about each other and help each other to show love and do good deeds. 
you should not stay away from the church meetings as some are doing, but you should meet together and encourage each other. Hebrews 10 verse 24 and 25. Unless you're not feeling well, it is important for us to come together and worship together. And our reflection question today is, what do you love about going to your church? What do you love about going to your church? What else could your church do to let you know that you belong to the loving family of God? Please consider making treats to give to someone that the Lord will show you in church. So you can begin praying and asking God to show you someone he would want you to show love to. And then you can make treats and give to them the next time you see them. And then consider to adopt a person in your church. Invite them for a meal. Pray with them. Show them the care and the help they need. And then ask a church leader what you and your family can do to make your church an even happier place where people feel welcomed and loved. So you can ask a church elder or a church pastor. Would you like to participate in showing love to others in church? Oh, great. Jesus has given us the power to love and to be kind to others. We just need to act on it. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we praise you for putting us in families, communities, and churches where we can care for one another and share what you are doing in our lives. Thank you for the church where we worship. I especially enjoy. Now I want you to mention what you enjoy in your church. Please forgive us for the times when we've chosen our way and not gone to church. Please help us to find ways to be kind and loving to the lonely and vulnerable people in our church. We pray for the leaders of our church and all the members. Help us to be a place where everyone who comes can experience your wonderful love. In Jesus' name, amen. I am so glad we prayed together today. It has been a blessing praying with you for 10 days. Please continue practicing what we've learned together and remember to share this with your friends. See you on the other side of the channel as we learn and grow together. Bye-bye.